Play of the week, we go back to the Mayfield and Clovis game, and you see Kavika Johnson, Isaac Vance, and look, the ball is stuck. <laughs> I have never seen that ever. Hey, I can't get the ball out. That happens on a basketball rim, not in a football game. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Reporter pilot Bob Barton and photographer John Rosas has got big air going I-40 West tonight. Sky News 13 making a stop in Hawks country where Laguna hosted a 3A quarterfinal. Roger Cordova's Laguna Hawks visited by defeat only once this season. Hawks hoping to keep it that way and protect the home turf with the rough and tumble. Estancia Bears in the house. Onto the field we go. District champions want to let everybody know that, huh? Bears facing a fourth and four on the opening drive. And Isaiah Chavez is on the move. Finds Herman Ortiz. Move those chains, Herman. That's gaining some momentum. Then next play, Chavis on the move, looking to find a corner with burst of speed, sees the end zone, dives for the pylon, waiting, waiting, waiting official, right on top of the play, out before the ball hits. From that, close, this power football. Ezekiel Tapia with the trap carry up the middle for the early touchdown, 6-0 Bears. Hawks trying to get things started on their opening drive. Third down, looking over the middle on the slant, defender on top of the play, setting a fourth down. What are you doing, coach? Oh, yeah. Bears looking to push their lead, dropping back, looking nothing there. Pulls down the ball and is chased down by Damian Chino before giving up the sack. Two plays later, Ryan Arkey finds Jacob Gallegos for the Hawks. First positive play of the first half. Not pretty, but finally moving in the right direction. That drive would stall, however. The Bears moving now. Cesar Quintana takes the counter, follows the crease, and meets that met head on by Isaiah Martinez and that sets up the fourth down from the 12-yard line. Well within field goal range with the Bears hungry, ball thrown up for grabs and Johnson and Riley coming up with the play for the Hawks, creating a huge stop and sparking life. Coach inspiring his guys. Riley making a play on offense with this first down grab. Then the next play, Arkey. Drops back and this time tries the other side of the field. Sean Martin creates some separation there with the better ball. That's six. Dragged down after the juggling catch with the 37-yard gain. After the sticks are set, again, Arkey this time forced out of the pocket. Stiff arms a would-be tackler, plants a foot in the grass and leaves a few bears behind him before streaking up the middle into the end zone, tying the game before the half. The second half would belong Two of the Bears coming up with the road victory, upsetting the Hawks 28-18 to, to move on to the semis. They will meet Tularosa. No, actually, they'll meet Lordsburg in the semis. Lordsburg, better than Tularosa, 35-18. to 18. Clayton, the defending champs of 3A, all over Santa Rosa. And that is very, very strange. Santa Rosa usually don't suffer anything in the postseason, but they do this time, getting knocked out big time. And Eunice, better than... Dexter, 44-14. Melrose and Logan will play for a double-A championship tomorrow. And for us, we are all out. We'll see you next week.